name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're looking at the Asus EAH5670 1GB graphics card. What comes included inside the box is a multi-language manual for the graphics card, a VGA driver, but we do insist that when you are installing your graphics card to use the latest drivers which you can actually find on the eTechnics.com website under the download section. You also get a manual which uh, talks you through speed setup, so nice and simple, nice and quick, and of course the graphics card. Taking a look at the top of the card, we can see that it's quite different to the 5670 that we already looked at, the ATI uh, reference card. This cooler doesn't take up the whole of the card, just like the 5670 that we've already looked at, but it's a little bit of a different style. It's got the Asus logo in the middle, and apparently this is its patented dust-proof fan. We can see that it's got sort of a, a black plastic casing over the actual fan, and then underneath we can see that it's got this silver heatsink design. The heatsink design goes all the way around and covers the memory modules as well as the GPU. Now taking a look at the underside of the car, we can see that it uses this red PCB, and we can also see exactly where the heatsink bolts on from this side. We already spoke a little bit about this black plastic heatsink cover with the Asus logo printed in the middle. Just to tell you a little bit more about the whole sort of cooling situation, it's got a 90mm fan, which actually is a dustproof fan. I know what you're all thinking, it's a computer component, it's got a fan, it's going to attract dust. As you can see from the diagrams, it's got a double cover around the bearings. What this does is the first cover is a traditional design and dust still comes over the top of it. When they add the second cover, it prevents the dust from getting into the bearing. This obviously stops the dust, which then lowers the heat, thus extending the product lifetime. Asus actually claimed that the lifetime on this particular graphics card due to this design will be extended anywhere up to 25%, which is absolutely fantastic. Taking a look at the full specifications on the EAH5670, it has a 775 MHz engine clock speed, it has 1 GB of GDDR5 memory running on 128-bit memory interface, it has a memory clock speed of 4 GHz, RAM DAC speed of 400 MHz, and the maximum resolution when using the DVI output is 2560 by 1600. The bus type on this card is PCI Express 2.1. Taking a quick 360 view of the card, you can see that there is no PCI Express power adapter port. That's because this card uses little to no power. When we was on the conference call with ATI, they did stress that this card generally uses around 51 watts of power. So typically where you would find the PCI Express power adapter, there isn't one. One thing that we did notice about this card compared to the ATI 5670 that we looked at last week is the one last week only supports Crossfire in uh, the software mode, so running through the motherboard. This particular card, as you can see, has the ports up here for a Crossfire Crossfire X configuration. Being a 5670, this card falls under the category what we call mainstream market. It's for the end user, the consumer who wants to spend a little bit of money but wants to get the best value for their money and this card gives you that with fantastic performance for uh, very little money indeed. Due to this it's quite low profile and because of that it only takes up one PCI slot in your case. Now taking a look at the connections on the back of the card we can see that it has a single DVI connection, a single VGA connection and a HDMI connection. This is perfect for ATI Affinity. Other features that this particular card has is of course DirectX 11. This is the latest DirectX version from Microsoft which will give you the best quality and the best performance in the latest games. Some of the latest games supporting DirectX 11 include Battleforge from Electronic Arts and Dirt 2. This card also has ATI Stream Technology. ATI Stream Technology basically gives you a balance between the GPU and the CPU. So you can actually spend more money on the GPU and you won't need such an intense CPU with uh, features like hyper-threading, it's just not needed when there's this balance between the GPU and the CPU. This card, as we already spoke about, has three connections on the back of it for your monitors. This is a fantastic feature which includes ATI Affinity. ATI Affinity is a feature that is for multiple monitor configurations. ATI I believe that instead of having uh, one large monitor, a user should have three smaller monitors. This will give you a better feel when you're actually playing games and will immense you more into the game. Other features include GPU Guard. This doubles the structural reinforcement 
which means that the GPU won't crack under heat or anything like that, which is a fantastic feature. It also has fuse protection technology. This delivers double the overcurrent protection for risk-free computing, so it just gives you a little bit more peace of mind with this particular graphics card. It also has HDMI 1.3 with deep color and 7.1 high bit rate audio support. It also has Asus Splendid, which will mean that when you're watching movies on the PC, um, obviously using the, the graphics from this card, it will look as good as it can on uh, a top-of-the-line television, so you won't be able to notice the difference in quality. It also has Gamer OSD, which is real-time overclocking, benchmarking and video capturing in any PC game. So you could be playing a game with this graphics card and you'd be able to capture some of the footage, which is something that uh, we're really excited about, obviously with us doing video reviews, it's something that we can really relate to. Another thing is Smart Doctor, which is your intelligent hardware protection and overclocking tool. Uh, with a lot of components these days, especially with enthusiasts, they do want to try and get the most out of it as they possibly can. This card is a very fast card, considering uh, the price of the actual card, but some people want to push it that little bit further. Obviously, Smart Doctor is going to help with that. Having a quick look around on the internet, trying to find the best possible price for this particular graphics card. The cheapest price we were actually able to find was £94.59, and and that was from scan.co.uk. <laughs> been through the whole review of this graphics card I'm really excited about this product in general I mean it utilizes everything that the ATI 5670 reference card that we looked at last week has got but it has got a few other little added features as well the smart doctor with regards to the overclocking the benchmarking um, the, the over voltage protection program it's, it's got some fantastic features that I think everyone has been calling out for for a long time the main feature that I'm really excited about is this dustproof design on the fan it would have been nice to have a graphics card that is completely resilient from dust, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. But this does do the next best thing. Obviously, it's going to extend the lifetime um, of your product, and overall, that should give you more beneficial results in, in the long term. Obviously, you won't have to keep spending out on, on new graphics cards. It also comes with a three-year warranty, which is fantastic news as well. The price of it is fantastic value for money. It's under £100. You don't need any extra power, so you can continue using your existing power supply. Overall, I just can't find fault with this. Even looking at the benchmarks, they are fantastic for a mainstream card that requires no extra power. There's no other score I can give this but 5 out of 5 stars.